Hi guys! So in this video I'm going to show you how to create this glamorous, sparkly Christmas makeup look. And I'm using many new products so I'm also sharing my first impressions on them. So I hope you like it and please keep on watching. And remember, makeup should be fun, not a necessity. So the first product I'm going to be trying out is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. So I'm just going to put a few dots on my face. And then blend it out with a sponge. It is nice and glowy. And it looks quite natural on the skin. So I like that. It's not full coverage, but I don't really like full coverage foundation anyway because it can be a little bit cakey. And I don't mind a few spots coming through. Yeah, I really like the look of it on the skin. And then I'm just going to blend it down my neck a bit. So with this foundation I really like the glowy natural look. So I'm very happy with it. So I don't really have any uh, contour or highlighter colors to try out. So I'm just going to be using my uh, normal favorites. For contour, I'm going to be using the RCMA palette, the cream foundation palette. I also just like to do a little bit, and I don't want to contour my nose, just to add a bit of dimension. And also here. And then I'm going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this gives such a beautiful glow. And it doesn't have any glitters in it. So it kind of still looks natural. And I always put it on top of my cheekbone and above my eyebrow. And then I connect those two. And then here... Sometimes I'll put just a little bit on the top, uh, on the tip of my nose. Above my cupid's bow. And a little bit on my chin. So for blush, I'm actually going to be trying out this eye gloss by NYX. And I did already try it on my eyes, but I haven't tried it as a blush. So hopefully it'll turn out alright. Kind of like a darker red color, a bit towards brown, but then if you blend it out, I actually like it as a blush color. I do like darker colors as blush as well, but then if you just put them on very subtly. And again, I'm going to be blending this out. So to be honest, I never really have an order in which I do my makeup. So for some people that might be weird, but now I'm going to do my concealer. And I'm going to be trying out the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm just taking a little bit on my brush because I think it's very full coverage. And I'm just going to make sure I don't go over my highlighter too much. But I just blend it in. So as I said, I don't really have an order. And I just do whatever I feel like doing at that moment. So if I want to do my blush first, I'll do my blush first. Sometimes I start with my eyeshadow. Okay, so this is really full coverage. Because I just used the tiniest bit. I really like all these products so far. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend that I don't make any funny faces. Because I think everybody makes funny faces while doing makeup. I don't mind if the spots come through a little bit. And then I'm just going to set my face with the Rimmel powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face, but I'm leaving this cheek area alone. And I'm also leaving this part. So I'm just going to prime my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 
I'm just setting my crease with the same translucent powder that I used for my face. And this will make sure that the eyeshadow will blend better. I'm now trying out the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Okay, so I just zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm taking that same brush with Keeper and just blending it into the crease. And we're mapping out the shape. And then using the brush from the palette, I'm taking the smaller side and blending that same color underneath my eye. And I'm using the bigger side of the brush with Hive to darken this up. And again, winning it out a bit. And then doing the same underneath. And also using this brush just to go more into my inner corner. More towards my inner corner. And then blending that in with the brush I used before. Now I'm going to keep using that brush, but using drip this time to darken it even more. We're slowly building up the eyeshadows to make sure that it has a seamless blend. So that's why we didn't go into the dark immediately. I also really like the undertone of Keeper, which you can still see on the edges. And into the inner corner. And blending it out again. Now I'm using the darkest color in the palette called Sting. Just using it a little bit of it to darken the crease and define it. I'm not taking this all the way in, but I am winging it up and also using it on the lower lash line. I'm blending it in. Now I'm using a flat brush with golden and I'm going to apply this to the inner part of my eyelid. Actually I'm going to be using my finger to do this. Yeah, that's better. So this applies better with a finger than with a brush. And then using honey, the very middle. This is very pretty. And I'm just using the brush I use for the medium eyeshadows to blend that in. Now I'm using that darkest color again with that same brush. I'm just darkening up the outer part of my upper lash line. Now I'm just taking an angled brush in the lightest color in the palette and putting that into the inner corner. So I'm now going to apply the Volume Effect Mascara from Yves Saint Laurent. So it doesn't leave any clumps. It's quite natural in my opinion. So it doesn't give me like a wow effect, but it does leave my lashes quite long and natural. And now a product that I'm really curious about because it looks way different than anything I've ever used. And it is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Brow Kit from NYX. 
So I'm taking as little product as possible because I want my brows to look natural. I'm just going to try to create hair strokes. Brushing that out. And then I'm going to set my brows with the Bear With Me Brow Setter from NYX. To be honest, I can't say too much about this because it depends on whether my brows will stay up all day or not. So now that I did my other brow as well, I think that the color is too warm for me. I really like an ashy brown color for my eyebrows and I think this is just a little bit too warm for me. So next I'm going to line my lips with a Floramar lip liner. So I didn't really overline my lips, I just created an edge to fill in. I'm now going to try out the Popstar Cosmetics Extreme Lacquer X Diamond Dust in Garnet. And I have swatched this on my arm before, but I haven't tried it yet on my lips. Okay, this is gorgeous. I really, really love this color and the texture. And it's very opaque and glossy and I love everything about this. It's perfect for Christmas. So I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit more with the NYC bronzer. So you can leave your look like this or you can have some fun with it and add some glitter. So just make sure you have something on your lap, like a towel, so that if the glitters fall, they will fall into the towel and not the ground. I'm just putting some lash glue on my hand. So dipping each glitter into the lash glue and then applying it where I want it to be. And the lash glue will dry clear. I do also put it in my brows, but I just make sure that I don't have too much lash glue on. And then that is it for the glitter. And then that is the finished look. So as far as the products that I use for the first time, I think that the two products that I'm not really sure about are the brow product from NYX. I'm just not really sure if it's something for me or not. And then also from NYX Eye Gloss. It's just that I use it as a blush and I think it's just better as an eye gloss. So the other products I do really like. I think that the foundation from Urban Decay is beautiful and glowy. But it's not full coverage. So if you're looking for that you need to find a different one I think. The eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay is beautiful. Especially if you have blue eyes. Because they really make blue eyes pop. And I think that the mascara is fine as well. It's quite natural. And I do like that. I think that the lipstick is amazing. It's perfect for Christmas, as I said. And lastly, I think that the concealer is amazing. It's very full coverage, but it doesn't look too cakey if you just use a little bit of it. Keep watching if you want to see me take this makeup off. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!